Welcome everyone to episode two of the Box Audience Zoom following the four best ever shows. So we're going to be discussing the show we've just seen very soon. And you can all remind me if I blinked and missed the uh, George Galloway and Rula Lenska Cat Gets the Cream scene. I don't know if I missed it. Was it on? I don't know. No. Tell me later. Okay. No. You tell me later. But um, <laughs> we're, we're, we're very happy to be joined tonight by two former housemates. Uh, we've got David Ramson <laughs> from uh, Brothers Ben in 2009. <laughs> Welcome, David. And you. you're from uh, one of the latest series. Matthew Davis from uh, oh. in 2014. So big round of applause for our two housemates. Oh. And um, if you don't mind, I'm going to go straight away to Matthew Davis. Okay. And um, what I'm going to say is two words, Matthew. But first of all, I'm going to say, Matthew, please do not swear when I say these two words. <laughs> Helen Wood. No. No, 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 no. Matthew, Matthew, can I ask you, can I ask you, uh, Helen was granted a pass to the final on the second day of the series. What, um, what was the atmosphere in the house when that happened and as the days progressed, how did it um, play out? Oh God, um, I knew you were going to ask me about her. Um, <laughs> do, do you know, it's hard to remember, to be honest. I remember when, um, it happened on like the second night and we were all like it was a really new environment like, we didn't know what we were going to expect but because I watched the show for so many years and I always saw how they would kind of like give these promises and then like revoke them when it happened I remember just like not really believing it I remember being like oh okay like it is like surely that's not actually like real but I know loads of the housemates were like really really happy for her and I remember at that point I did get on with her I remember yeah. just being like, well, I'm not happy. Like, I wanted that pass for the final. <laughs> <laughs> As yeah. did everyone, no doubt. Yeah. And yeah, it was nice to see how many people were happy for her because it showed you kind of earlier on, I mean, at least at that point, that people kind of pretended like they cared about one another. <laughs> yeah. But obviously, um, it, we speculated it a lot throughout the series. I remember she questioned it quite a lot. Obviously, as she kind of came out of her shell a little bit more, I think there were a lot of people that thought, <laughs> yeah, uh, obviously you didn't understand the please do not swear, but that's cool. Yeah, that's when he said the um, tell me, tell me, you, you famously you famously had a massive uh, bust up with Helen yeah. and um I believe she got a formal warning for it. Um how how were you feeling after that massive row in the house? Oh, I remember well it was one of those things where you kind of, when you watch the show and you kind of see these arguments happening, you kind of just find it entertaining. But for me, like, I did find it like really awkward when things would kick off in the house. And I was quite, I'm, I'm quite a vocal person in real life. I don't want to say argumentative, but normally I, I don't really have a problem with confrontation. But when it sort of happened, I remember being like, oh my God, like this is going to be on TV. Even though I kind of was like, even though she was the antagonist in the situation, I remember just, like not wanting to swear and trying to keep my cool because I was like, my mum's going to be watching this. <laughs> I, I remember kind of not realising it had happened, to be honest with you, but it was a really uncomfortable situation. I remember finding confrontation really uncomfortable in the house because there were, there was people, there were people everywhere. You can never have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. You obviously knew it was going to make the cut and you kind of worried about, like, is it going to be edited? Like, what are people going to think of me? Sure. I remember not really okay. believing what happened. And... Helen didn't really uncomfortable. No. Yeah. No. I remember, I remember I, watching, I watched it on YouTube this afternoon because I had to just watch it. And my God, yeah. you gave as good as you got. I, I mean, you really, really? did. Well, you, yeah, hey, nice. you, you fought back. Oh, well, it's funny because I'm, 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 not, I'm not an argumentative person, but I can really lose my temper and kick off in arguments. I have arguments with my brothers and my mum and I will really go personal, but... Uh -huh. From the beginning of my time in the house, I remember being quite rational and laid back. I don't know if I was just really conscious of the cameras and the public perception. I was trying to be like really careful. But she I remember didn't care. Kind of sitting there, <laughs> trying not to react. And then I made like that one comment about her boobs. And I remember when I said, I was upset. Would you, if you were in there again, would you, would you argue differently? Would you go in mm. deeper? Or well, would you take the knives uh, out? I don't know. It's, I remember when I watched it and people would say to me like, People, whenever anyone like met me on the street, they would always say to me, they would always bring up her, and they would always bring up the argument. A lot of people would be like, I can't believe you let her talk to you like that. 
And I remember sometimes thinking, oh, how did I like let her walk all over me? But then obviously in hindsight, I was glad I didn't kind of you act like an idiot. Because yeah. I didn't want to be remembered <laughs> as that person. Like I, I went low a little bit, but um, I think um, later on, I probably would have known how to argue with her better which is yeah. not to mm-hmm. kind of take the bait, but I don't know how it yeah, would now. I think fine. I would have probably been calmer, even though I was. It's one of those, so you, you don't really think those situations through, and then they happen, and then you're just sort of like, oh God. Like, but she, she was a nasty <laughs> person. She was actually very good for the house as a viewer. Yes. She, she made it really gripping for us, That's but she true. was a nasty person. Cool. Yeah, I remember it was like, it was really hard with her because I, I did get on with her in the house, and. I mean, she was how she was. A lot of people loved her. A lot of people hated her. I remember people didn't like her in the beginning. Yeah, but when I got evicted, a lot of people would say, "I can't believe you went." You know, I hate her. And by the end of the show, people really wanted her. And I, um, obviously, I don't know who I I liked her. So did I. I (laughs) I Yes. Did you remember feeling a bit like? I think I would have probably enjoyed watching the argument, but I know from being in the house. she, a lot of housemates, you know, felt really uncomfortable because of her. I don't want to say like she ruined people's experience, but yeah. it, she she did bring a negative influence to the house. Mm. And for me, it was like okay, it's more well and good people voting for her to win, but like from knowing what it was like, I, I definitely was um, really disheartened by when she won the show. It could have been anyone, and she obviously yeah. wasn't someone I well, wanted because, to win. That's because that's because we couldn't nominate her. There yeah, was, yeah. Wait, she she would have show up for good. Then another week we did want to nominate her. Then suddenly we did want to nominate her. Then another week it kept changing all the time. <coughs> and we couldn't nominate her. Yeah, I Matthew, remember. I think, um, Matthew, have you seen her since? Sorry, who was talking? Have, have you seen her since? No. On any occasion? Has I anybody? Her, I think I saw her like <laughs> once afterwards, maybe about a month after. Did we were at some like, party and she did... Um, she didn't really I was talking to I was with um, Christopher another housemate she sort of stepped in and was like hi guys and it was really weird and I just sort of stepped back <laughs> um, but no we never saw each other again we never spoke I think yeah, well, Matthew, something thanks, really Matthew, strange we'll, happens Matthew we'll, we'll come back to you shortly okay. um, if I can go to uh, David Ramsden next um, David welcome welcome to the box audience show <laughs> Um, okay. David, David, I want to take you back to 2009, 10th series of Big Brother. We had the likes in your house of uh, Dogface and Halfwit. Uh, yes. And you actually ended up coming third after entering on day 44. Can you tell me how was your experience? What was it like coming in late to the house? And how, how, how has it changed your life? Well... When I found out that I'd got on the show, I only had like 24 hours notice. Wow. So I was on my home, I was coming home from work and I got a call from Sharon telling me like I'd been accepted on the show, but I was actually a guinea pig running that, in that year, if you know what that is. Oh yeah. 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 I was a guinea pig in that year, so I'd already been in the house before it all yeah. started. I so you did the test run. Like, yeah. I was also, yeah. I was also so when that ended and the show before. started, I was like, I thought I had no chance. So when I got the call from Sharon, I had 24 hours notice to get my things together and to get to London. So when I got to London, you go through the process, as you know, you go through the chaperone, etc. And then when I was waiting to go in the house in the car, my heart was pounding. You've never, never <laughs> felt anything like that. My heart was pounding. <laughs> Well, obviously, I went through this, into the house, and then within an hour, we got me, Tom, Hera, what it, Kenneth, and B. If I'm right, uh-huh. we all got called to the diary room, and Big Brother said um, that we had a secret mission, and this secret mission was to get two housemates. What they said, I can't remember which housemates it was. We had to get them up for nomination, eviction. Sorry, or we would be up for eviction. Do you understand? Right. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Away, like, <laughs> A challenge, so I just thought to myself, well, I'm in the house, there's no way I'm going out in the first week. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it's so difficult, the, the, the audition process. And the, a couple of the other housemates were like, we'll do this, we'll do that, and like plotting what to do. And then the next morning, they all turned down and said, no, we're not doing it. Right. You know what I mean, mm-hmm. if you remember. Yeah, when you yeah. get out of the house, you're in that fancy to stay in this house. But they were like, oh no, we don't feel like it's a nice thing to do, you know. We're not going to do it. The public will decide who wants to go. 
But you're so obviously we yeah. saw the touring. That's it, money. At the end of that week, I think Kenneth got ah. a bit cut, if I'm right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Remember, One went. So as yeah. to go in the house and then to have a secret mission straight away, it was like impossible. So obviously <laughs> then I've got, I've got to stage, you know what I mean? So it was How just did you feel on the day of the final? To do. How, David, how did you feel on the day of the final where, where you ended up third and obviously Sophie Reed won it but and Siavash was second? How were you feeling at that final? Um, I kind of know that I wasn't going to win because obviously I was a halfway housemate, but yeah. to come third, it was quite quite a big thing in it, really. It was, so, it was. Yeah. 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 I felt as if Sophie deserved to win anyway. Yeah. She, so she definitely was wasn't a dog face. She was definitely not a dog face. Yeah, I mean, she was a really good housemate. <laughs> again, third place, I was happy with that, do you know what I mean? And it did change my life. I mean, I got a letter from Vivian Westwood. Wow. Uh, oh. and, and that's what I did. I went to meet, I got to meet her three times. <laughs> Fantastic. Wow. That's really cool. Fantastic. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you, David. That, that's that. brilliant, so guys. Thank you. We'll, we'll have some more from you a bit later. But if we move on to the show we've just seen, um, that was a classic big brother. But but mm -hmm. can you please tell me what happened with the Galloway Rulenska? It didn't happen. Oh, it didn't see it. Happen. How, can, how can they not put that in? I it think that's going to be later on. Right. I think that might come later. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. But I think three hints. They, hit they kind of alluded that there'd one. be another yeah. bit of yeah. this, uh, that really, episode. This isn't the last, no. Yeah. Mm. But to be fair, the, in any, any Big Brother looking back kind of program, they always use the Rulensky clip. And they, yeah. so, they all, so they maybe wanted to, to, to show some others. Because I can remember with this Chantal Horton, and that when she went in as a civilian, obviously this was a unique thing that she was going in as a civilian to try and trick um, them. She wasn't she a, a Paris Hilton lookalike? That's right. Yeah, That's right. yeah. So she was a went in, like so she was a kind of kind of semi unknown and um, going in there. And you just see like from the passage of time, all that we see is looking so old fashioned as we're yeah. we're looking at, back at it. And yeah. you know, it was just like she did well because she sang very badly and they, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I really liked very it. Very badly. I was it. I, like, what did you make? What did you make of the reveal in the diary room? I thought that was fantastic. Yeah. It was yeah. Really yeah. Good. Yeah. She was a non celebrity. You forget those little bits, don't you? Yeah. You remember the story, yeah. but it's the little I wish tiny they would show the Pete Burns and the Gorilla Coats when yeah, they called that away. Yeah. That John's was a favorite. classic. <laughs> yeah, that was it classic. shows you, it shows you they missed out a couple of classic scenes and it was still a great watch, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, what well, did you make, did you make of the uh, smoking? In the bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> Even in the bedroom. Yeah. Well got me when, in you the bedroom. At, when you look at the old series, it, it just looks so raw. Like it, look, it looks so mm. different compared to yeah. the Very great. Yeah. Yeah. I like to do the fairy liquid bottles, like the really old school ones. You know, really <laughs> 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 you <laughs> so noticed. <laughs> and you, you definitely saw the weed tinkle in his eye at Chantel. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. You know who you say. Uh, we know exactly who that was, but uh, that, that wasn't screened, of course. No, yeah. I mean, I from all the other house faces. I mean, when they focused on Dennis Rodman's face, it was just like, wow, oh, really? <laughs> you know, <laughs> unbelievable. There was quite a lot of controversial um, incidents. Mm, in there was. Yeah. There was. Yeah, there, I, mean, I think there's a lot they wouldn't get away with nowadays. Yeah, well, like, also, they, they, they all survived in their own little bubbles, the didn't they? Yeah. They had their own little celebrity bubbles that they, they didn't know any better. They didn't want to know any better. So Michael Barrymore was, well, I'm just, just the way I am, you know? Yeah. And plus you had the Americans and, you know, the, the, this was yeah. the start of the, you remember you know, the division Burns of the big American stuff. Sorry? The what, John? When Pete Burns called the American girl repugnant, do you know, and then the, I didn't hear the original show. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> do you know, yeah. I think the funniest it was thing quite I mean, the I don't know if he was years the years Galloway <laughs> thinking, like, why is he not famous enough and why does no one want to talk to him? That was just, like, hilarious. God, his voice just winds me up. <laughs> and I'm Scottish. <laughs> my <God. laughs> so good. Just going back to um, just going back to Matthew and David for a minute. Um, do, do you guys have any regrets about going in the house at all? Whoever wants to go first. Oh. There was a twitch. I feel like I, um, what was that? Sorry. There was a twitch on your face. You were like, oh, don't know. Do, do you have any regrets? Do I don't have any regrets? regrets, but like, I think I always. I'm quite an over analytical person and I'm quite an anxious person. So I did kind of like watch it back and I did kind of just, I, I really kind of overthought it. And I remember thinking like, I wish I had more fun. And yeah. I think for me, like mm -hmm. I wasn't, I mean, I was 23 when I went in, which isn't that yet. They have housemates that are younger, but obviously yeah. like, I'm, nearly I'm nearly 30 now. And when I look back, I remember thinking like, I didn't know myself very well. At, the, at that age, I thought I was, I knew who I was and I was confident and, like, I remember my VT was appalling, and I would never say those things now. So I remember <laughs> thinking um, I didn't probably know myself as well as I do now. It, I don't know if it, maybe I would have, like, been better a couple of years later. I don't know. But I, maybe what was I, your reason for going into the house? I genuinely I loved the show. I watched it from the beginning of the show. <laughs> um, I... I think from like series four, I was like, I really want to go on this show one day. Yeah. Um, I thought it was a great um, social experiment. And yeah, I think to an extent, I think any, I think anyone that goes on the show like has to be a little bit vain, to be honest, because you have to yeah. think that you have to think that people are going to want to watch you, and everyone goes in there thinking that oh, I could probably win. So I think I wasn't a big character in my house, but in my group of friends, people were like, oh, yeah, Matthew's crazy. Like, who's yeah. the kind of person to go to go, who'd be good on Big Brother? <laughs> yeah. So I think that it's, it's ego, to be honest with you. Yeah. But, um, it was primarily for the experience for me. Once you got in there, once you got in there, did it feel, did it come to the expectations that you thought it was going to be yeah. before you went in? It was never it very, does. Very different? <laughs> in the, I think for everyone, it is probably anti-climax, but obviously I was evicted quite early. And I think that... You always, everyone always says, oh, I, I thought I was going to be the first one out, but like, you I think... You were 30 days though, Matthew, you were there 30 yeah, days. I, thought, I, I thought I was even going to go like in the first three or stay far. I didn't really expect to go like when I did go. So I, I didn't think I ever really got like a full chance. Um, you had your birthday in um, there. It is an anticlimax. I think um, the idea of it is more exciting than it is. I remember really enjoying the auditions, really enjoying doing a VT. Obviously, the, I didn't really enjoy the walking, but it was a surreal moment. And when you first go in the house and you go to the diary for the first time, you nominate for the first time, you do task. It is like this insane, surreal process. But yeah. like a holiday, the novelty wears off. And after about two weeks, I remember not really enjoying it. And I remember oh, just gosh. feeling a bit low. And I remember thinking, God, I've, I've wanted to go on this for years. I auditioned more than once. Yeah. And I was like, uh -huh. I'm not even enjoying it. And by the time I got evicted, I was devastated to have gone. But I remember just being like, Ugh wasn't that good <laughs> so, <laughs> well, so knowing, knowing what you know now Matthew uh, would you do it again knowing what you know now oh. <sighs> well I think like I said it's one of those things that because it's so surreal there's a part of me that would be like oh yeah of course because it kind of lives with you but I don't think I would let myself I think logically I'd be like it's it's, it, it didn't really, it, it's neutral in your life, but it probably does more bad for your mental, for your mental health. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't think, I don't really think I would enjoy it or throw myself into it yeah. now. And David, David Ramston, um, any regrets uh, going in the Big Brother house? I, I haven't got any regrets. Uh, um, 
guys. The only th advice really is you've got, like Matthew says, you've got to really think it through because you've got to be really happy with your life before Big Brother to go yeah. and do it because 99% of the time you will be going back to that life. You know, a lot mm. of people think, you know, you're going to go on Big Brother, you're going to make this, you're going to make that. It's not about that. Do you know what nah. I mean? You're not going to yeah. get this and you're not going to get that. Yeah. Especially in my <laughs> series, the, like, the papers, the magazines. Yeah. We're only interested in the girls, and that's yeah. fair. Ooh. Yeah. Of course, the magazines, the nut magazines. But I've got no regrets whatsoever. The only right. thing really is that I wish I were in there from the start. But yeah. just to have the opportunity, like the opportunities I got when I came out, it was just unbelievable. So no regrets. I, mm. I would do it again, definitely. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Now, tell me, guys. Tell me. Anybody, guys, anybody, um, anybody wants to be in the big brother house, sorry. Sorry, go on, David. I was about to say, anybody what's been in the big brother house, there's a right distinctive smell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> name smell. names, David. Name names. <laughs> no, I'm on about like the, the building. Walk into the house. There's a yeah. right distinctive smell, and even Ryan will tell you about it. It smells like no carpet. If you've ever been in the big brother house. You'll know what Most I'm talking about. It's the right funny smell of like <laughs> brand new furniture, brand new carpet. Mm. And even for yeah. days after Big Brother, I could smell it in the hotel. Talking to Brian and uh, David, did anyone notice at the end of tonight's show that little hint he gave that mm -hmm. um, there was more yeah. to come yeah. of some oh, kind? Wow, David! Yeah. 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 Can I just say, guys, I didn't finish work till 10 o'clock, so I've not seen it yet. All right, okay. okay. Oh. So, okay, oh, throw that out to the rest of the audience. Um, uh, did you notice that little thing yes. from Ryan at the oh, end? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Or am I reading too much into it? No, no I agree. I'm there. Oh, no, they're going to come back to that series again. Yeah. Paul, I <laughs> thought it was he, that he was he was alluding to more to come from that series. Yeah, another. another so you think there were another yeah. series of yeah. past in the future so series? I don't know. Didn't they I drop a little so. Mickey Mouse last night as well? But Big Brother serious. did say he will get back to you and believe That's me, very true. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I reckon at the, end of the last series they'll say something and they're, they're literally after that like this few weeks. I would trust him 100%, but I don't think that, it will um, be back. It will be back. Do you do? I do. Yes. Yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah. Hands up who says yes. Hands up who says that they will. E4 has I think I mean, it's the end of it was really cool. It's doing really well. well. Because they've done the task, they've done everything. It would have to be, you know, like other shows are like more modern online. There would have to be a really big reshape of the design of the program. Yeah. Right, but right, I yeah. definitely do think there should yeah, be yeah. another one, even if it's just one, a celebrity one, because yeah. they seem to be more popular. To be, so yeah. And I was having no people. One. And the, or, the careers of art. Before the get all the winners. Yeah, I was thinking mm. that as well. Get all the winners together. Start off again. I, I think, think, I think, think some of them will go back. <laughs> yeah, some would want to do it. We don't want to win them anyway. Michelle, <laughs> Michelle, it'll be like the Hunger Games, won't it? <laughs> <laughs> get all the big ones that win. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I think a lot of people have started to like kind of maybe, even though other shows, I'm not going to say on ITV, are do really popular, people have started to kind of get a bit, you know, it's, it's too much of all these like insta kind of people so i think yeah. they go back to the basics get different types 100 percent different back and some of those shows are not coming back till 2021 dan yeah that's for sure, Karen. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. that just want to have you know, the chickens, a normal, normal social media experience yeah. a, so, like a social experience <laughs> yeah. you want to get more from the corner shop yeah and if it was to come back would it be in earl street there's no room now. Yeah. Well, they've knocked the house down. They've it's knocked it. They can build it again. Yeah. <laughs> if it's for Channel 4. Yeah. Yeah. Channel 4 yeah. was in the same place. But well, they could go anywhere. Same building. The fact I mean, is, the fact is, yeah, that's true, Karen. The fact yeah. this one is on E4 now, I reckon they've signed a contract that, it, mm. from, from knowing television. And don't forget, guys, the house has been demolished now. Yeah, mm. I know. So, That's been the space, though. The house is there anything in the space? No more, is it? So that would have to be a big redesign as well, wouldn't it? Yeah. It's it's been been in Coventry. Coventry. Though, hasn't it? They, they built another house as well. They never used it after one series. 
So back to basics, get two from each age group, teen, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, across from all walks of life, yep. and then just bang it out yeah. there as a basic series, and then don't have any outside interference, yes. and just yeah. go with the flow. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. We can only That's what I say. Send them. my big brother, guys, they totally changed all the rules. Do you know what I mean? It kind of made it a little bit more fun. Like we were able to talk about nominations, etc. So I think mm -hmm. if you just shape up the rules and redesign the show and maybe get a, a older audience as well as... I like the way they did it in America. Yeah. Yeah. Well, listen, guys. Listen, guys. We've got to wrap in a minute. But um, I want to thank uh, Matthew Davis and Dan Daniel... Uh, Daniel. <laughs> I want to thank <laughs> Daniel as well. Thank you, <laughs> Big uh, round of applause for them. And... Um, thank you. Well, just before we go, just before we go, I said at the beginning I've got a, a big announcement and um, tomorrow night, we really don't want to miss tomorrow night's show, um, just before we came on air, I had it confirmed that um, Celebrity Big Brother and X Factor legend Stevie Ritchie will be joining us. Oh, so, um, well yeah. well so, tomorrow night will be a lot of fun. Well done. Well done. Well done. Yeah, well done. yeah, so... Um, Hope to see you all tomorrow night. Okay, take okay. care. Amazing. Love you, love you, love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you.